It's becoming much more dangerous to be gay in Nigeria, where same-sex marriage is now punishable by up to 14 years in prison. Holding hands, kissing, waving the rainbow flag, any of those could get gays and lesbians and their supporters sent to jail in Russia. This law has given the signal for hate crimes all over the country. It's given the cue to the state media to be completely and utterly homophobic, to turn on the television and see Russian Orthodox priests Members of parliament speak in the most disgusting homophobic way possible uh, is completely dispiriting, highly influential, and completely sanctioned by the Kremlin. The president of Uganda signed a sweeping anti-gay bill into law. It makes it illegal simply to be gay in the country and imposes harsh prison sentences for offenders. Do you think this law would have happened if it were not for U.S. interference? The answer is no. It wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for U.S. influence. We believe that you cannot separate the causes of abortion, euthanasia, divorce, homosexuality, cohabitation, sexual promiscuity, materialism, violence. These are all symptoms to the disease. You, all of us here today, we are the solution to solve homosexuality. The World Congress of Families is determined to fight for the natural family. We are building armies in all the major cities across the world to fight, to speak out, and to witness to the truth that natural family is the foundation for society. If tolerance and equality are the sole criteria, why not one man and three women? Why not an adult male and an underaged female? Same-sex coupling cohabitation are more closely bound to sickness, domestic violence, financial stress, depression, premature death. <laughs>